It was an accident that would change Rebecca Goko's life forever. The taxi I was traveling in was hit by a truck. That's when my hand was cut off. Unable to continue her job as a domestic worker, even the simplest actions had become impossible. But with the aid of a prosthetic arm, there's new hope for Gogo. The chicken drink with the chicken, anything basically that her hand needs to do. In here we have a rotating wrist that she presses a button and then it adjusts the angle of the hand. And then, as you can see, this is voluntary opening hands. So by choosing to shrug her shoulders, it voluntarily opens the hand and by relaxing it, it closes. With a price tag of 21 million rand, the lab is the first of its kind in South Africa. Paralympian Adams van Dijk has put the equipment to the test and has given it his seal of approval. It's an area in South Africa that's really lacking. We need more experts. We need more people around, you know, to, to be able to fit these prosthetics and, and help people become, you know, mobile again and become whole again. The project is aimed at addressing skills shortage. We hope that we will increase also the number of students. There are hundreds of shortages at the moment in South Africa and we believe with the rollout of the national health insurance the shortage may even be more acute, particularly in the rural areas. Students and staff will volunteer, gaining experience with patients going through orthopedic rehabilitation. Lorenzo Temba, Pretoria. News that moves. ENCA.com.